These are the five places to visit before Niagara Falls. When it's your first time to go to Niagara Falls, you want to make sure you get the most out of your travel by visiting these places first. In this way, you can save not only your time, but also money and yet create a memory that would surely last a lifetime. Four of these places are actually located in the nearby town called Niagara on the Lake. The Niagara on the Lake is known as the wine country due to the presence of wineries and vineyards. Wine tasting is not free. It actually costs 25 Canadian dollars. But I guess Ligene and Ati Carmela charmed this guy to give us a free wine tasting experience. I get one. <laughs> it's now time to visit the town proper. The Niagara on the Lake is the only town in Canada that has a Lord Mayor. This town is said to be the most haunted in Canada. So it's not surprising to find ghosts walking around the town. Hey! We are now going to the Queen's Royal Park where we have a scenic view of Lake Ontario. The park is also home to the famous gazebo featured in the film The Dead Zone starring Christopher Walken in 1983. Let us now go inside Canada's smallest church. We are now exiting this scenic town through the Niagara Parkway Drive. That's actually Buffalo, the Buffalo New, York. New York over there, so you can literally cross to the United States. We have just one more stop to make. Here we are folks, at the majestic Niagara Falls. Let us now explore the surrounding area as the holiday decors are now lit up. <laughs> 